Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of the Deity Twins with my, myself, Quill18, and Marbozir. Say hi. Hi, everyone. So, uh, yeah, we were talking a little bit between the episodes. New week, I've had a chance to sort of review the play, and we're talking about the importance of getting the workers and everything set up uh, yep. as early as possible to get that production going, because I still think that's probably one of my little shortfalls there. Now, you, you start the, uh, the worker right after the scout, and then you pause it for a shrine, right? Yeah, that's what I usually do. And then after, as soon as I finish pottery research, I switch from worker to shrine and then go back to the worker. Mm -hmm. And then when you try to get your second worker going, do you build a second worker? Do you buy it? Do you, I mean, I mean, stealing is if always cool. If I can't cool. steal him from a city state, then I usually just build him. I sometimes buy a worker if I get like a lot of money from deals. Or good. But if I don't, something. I just train it. Oh, I should mention I just upgraded to the latest version of the uh, Civ Better AI or UI. Which is quite cool for the construction queue, but still a little confusing to me. Oh yeah, I know which version you're talking about. Yeah, it changes... With the, with the production in the bottom left corner, yeah? Yeah, change is pretty dramatic. It's handy! And I also like that it you know, points, out, points out that you can buy things right there in the same interface, but... Oof. Yeah, that took me a bit to get used to that. So, I should probably get it was a, a bit strange. Castle up in Mecca, or more units. I think I would still like to go to war with the Ottomans at some point. It feels like it's something that I need to do. Yeah, and speaking of war, I'm at war with Ram Kamshal face oh, again. That's right. I think I'm gonna Hopefully build. I'll be able to actually push through here with the help of my citadel. Oh yeah, I, I never... And the total range Gatling guns. I didn't get a chance because of uh, how we record this. I haven't gotten a chance to see it from your point of view yet to see exactly how miserable your uh, interface is or your... your choke point is. Yeah. I didn't think it will be this bad, but apparently I was wrong. In hindsight, I should have attacked the troll city first and focused on that, but I didn't. So now I have to deal with this. On the right side, I did steal an archaeologist from him. Ah, oh, that's fun. So that's nice. I've never ever done that. Didn't even know that was a thing until you mentioned it. So I think it's actually great. Yeah. I had some games where I stole a great prophet from the AI with all four users. Oh, so that's a fantastic. free holy site. <laughs> yeah, because normally you get them; they've already expended at least one yeah. use, and if they've used at least one, then you can't. You can't do the holy site. So my plan: I'm building one cannon. I can upgrade a trebuchet to a cannon, and then I've got all the camel archers and stuff. I think that's going to be enough range attack to take Edwin, and then I just need to build, say, one or two musketmen, maybe. Although he's got rifles. Oh, I'm working on a rifling. Never mind. Six turns away. Good. Oh, that's actually going to work out quite well, I think. Oh, you'll get rifling in six turns? Yeah. That's pretty much the same thing I'm researching right now. So, which technologies do you not have? So, I don't oh, have well, anything you from... You don't have the top part. Yeah, I don't have compass yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. Other than that, I have everything in Renaissance. And then in industrial, I have scientific theory, industrialization. So I don't have fertilizer or military science. Oh, so you don't have compass, astronomy, and anything beyond that? No, no. So my, my ships are quite poor. But I'm looking to fight the Ottomans, and the Ottomans are all inland, which is nice. I have friends with Nebuchadnezzar, and he's really the only naval threat. Unless something, someone does something really weird. And what about your spies? My spies, I've got one in Paris, he's 14 turns away, and I apparently just put one in Berlin, and he's still about 38 turns away. I'm about to steal something from Babylon. Wow, I'm getting taunted by Enrico for some reason. Yeah, he denounced me when we had the creation of friendship, that was a little bit strange. Yeah. I was slightly confused why he actually did that. We, we, like, we still oh, have a research field. Oh. Mm. We still have a research agreement going on, and he's hostile. Yep. Concerned about warmongering, and, oh yeah, the declaration of friendship with one of their enemies. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But that's usually not reason enough to break the creation of friendship. Can you tell me if I have... Oh yeah, I do have more than, more than one cotton. Nebuchadnezzar is asking for it for free, and I'm tempted to just give it to him to keep our relations extremely high. It's not really going to cost me anything. It would be nice to sell it to him for money. But if I do this, it will give us a relationship boost. It, does it last for, like for an extended period of time or only during the relationship? During the trade, rather. 
I think it lasts like any regular trade, so 30 turns. Mm. Not as good as it could be. Pretty sure that's the case. But he doesn't have... Where is he in this list? But I mean, if you don't have anyone to sell it to, so if it's not costing you some amazing amounts of gold, then it's usually a good idea. No, I can probably just sell it to him as a friendship agreement. Like, I've got the friendship agreement. I should be able to get the money. Like, don't ask for it for free. Like, I have a lot of cotton. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah. There we go. He gave it to me for, for 240 gold, but I think I probably took a bit of a relationship hit by not giving it to him for free. But honestly, that was a little bit greedy. So my scout in, uh, my spy in Babylon got killed. That was kind of unfortunate. Oh, yeah. What am I working I on? I should be able to steal something in five turns from Ram Control Face. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to break through here. I'm almost tempted to get ship of the line, go around this mini continent, and attack them with ships of the line, but I probably should have done that a little bit earlier. Oh, you can build them in Nottingham and then, yeah, attack. Yeah. Come fag and fet. The only problem with that is that I'm not 100% sure if I can actually get there because I can't see the land around Colombo to the east of me. Oh, um, around Colombo. Oh. That's a city state directly east of me. I'm not sure if I can go around that because I can't see that area. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you absolutely can. Oh, okay. I mean, you'll have to hug Colombo, which will be shooting at you. But there's yeah. there's coast all the way that would lead you to Kempfeng Fett. All right, nice. So I'll probably do that then. So I got insulted by Berlin as well. It's like, I don't remember the last time I was just flat out insulted by the AI. A World Congress. We were going to vote against the world religion, yeah? I think we have to. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. We have the same exact religion. We could actually try to propose our religion as the world religion. Yeah, Venice would probably go for it since it's theirs. Yeah, and um, we would get more votes. It's too bad that Trollface doesn't have it as well. Yeah. Well, he has it in one city because Venice spread it. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not really enough to make him vote for it. That's for sure. Stamps are done. Well, that's a good production bonus. Uh, let's bring a... Yeah, let's get a few more... Oh, wait. Um, if I start building a musket, do they automatically convert to the rifleman in the queue, or will they finish as a musketman? Uh, they will automatically convert. If okay. It's a unit that disappears from production options. Yeah, and they should. Musketmen should become elite with rifling. Let me double check, I suppose. In the yeah, help. yeah. There are some cases where it's not replaced, but that's when the upgraded unit requires a strategic resource that the previous one doesn't. Right. And so there are, the they're case. still both on the list, like okay. artillery and rocket artillery. Right. That makes sense. Okay. It's good. So I can start producing there. Although, if people are already concerned about my mild warmongering, they might not like it in a second here, but eh. Yeah, they're concerned about my warmongering too, even though I didn't take a single city yet. <laughs> yeah, well, you've declared they war three nothing, times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're probably going for a relatively peaceful victory condition, but, you yeah, know, you still much. gotta, like, boss people around a bit and make sure they don't mess with you. Yep. I mostly want to take these cities now for the wonders they have. Oh, do they have a lot? Uh, yeah. Multiple wonders in, in the... Sukhothai. Oh, nice. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you're going to go all the way down to their capital. Uh, yep. Yeah. Six wonders in here. That is pretty nice. Not the best ones, but I want to get some tourism out of this. And he does have Machu Picchu, so that's a nice one for gold. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose if, if it goes well against Istanbul, or the Ottomans rather, I, after taking Edirne, I could wrap around, take Dortmund, which is technically a German city, and then go north into Istanbul. But I'm going to be really happy with Edirne. It's a great city site, lots of food production, and extremely well defended. If I, if I just take that, I'd actually be relatively satisfied. And maybe in a follow-up war, we'll take Dortmund and see where we can go from there. But Yeah. Uh, where is that city in relation to Istanbul? Uh, Edirne is just to the east, basically. It's like oh, okay. four tiles away. It's very close. And oh, okay. Then Dortmund is just to the south, slightly to the west. I have a little bit of fog of war to the east of Istanbul, so it has to be just outside of my vision. No, it's cool. We'll just trade maps. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would be nice to have that option, actually. Mm -hmm. 
It's so, a little bit weird that it's not an option because I know. for the AI, it does matter what the AI can see. It yeah. doesn't have vision of the entire map, so it would have a strategic use. Yeah, and I mean, I understand the no tech trading because tech trading does change yeah. the game dramatically. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Uh, so the cultural heritage sites passed, which will be really nice when you take the capital. But luckily, yeah. Islam did not. Mm, everyone voted no except for Babylon, so it was not a popular one. Ottomans became autocratic, so we're not going to be friends. And, yeah, we wouldn't be able to prevent cultural heritage sites, mm -hmm. even if you, we voted no. Too many votes for that. 11 votes, yes. Yeah. So I got a policy coming up right now. I'm, secularism has got to be much stronger than humanism, right, in your opinion? Yeah. I mean, I actually like... Like, to me, humanism is not that great, but I love free thought. If the other way was around, I might go for free thought first, but secularism is so good with the, uh, the extra beakers, or should I say, flasks. Oh, yeah, secularism is awesome. Yeah. But someone always said something. When I call them beakers, they're like... I mean, I, I would go as far as saying that secularism is borderline quiet on data. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to get the whole rationalist tree to win on data, but secularism is really borderline required. That's so much science. Yeah, it's very good. So I got this whole road done. Oh, that's what I want. I want you to come over here, Mr. Worker. So if I did declare war on Babylon right now, theoretically, I yeah. could capture three archaeolog archaeologists and destroy a great general. <laughs> I mean, assuming you had the ships, but like they're well, really... I have declaration of friendship with them. Yeah, well, I'm not going to. I want to stay friends with them the full game, probably. Yeah. I don't think Babylon even has... Oh, it's got some wonders. I can't recognize them all by sight on the map, but I can tell what a wonder is. Oh, they are not number one in science anymore. That's Germany now. That's probably why I sent a spy to Germany. I think that happened yeah. sometime last episode. And what's amazing with the Germany thing, with the science, is they've been in several wars since the start of the game and have lost the city. And yeah, Germany war. usually does really well on data. It's one of the civilizations that's really well balanced in flavors, I guess. Ooh, France and Germany are both autocratic now. Yeah, I kind of expected France to go for autocracy. <laughs> but you should be fine with ideology pressure, I think. Let's see. I mean, you didn't pick ideology yet, but no. I'm still on content. There's no ideology pressure, no penalties. The Ottomans are taking a penalty. Babylon is on our side, and their tourism output should go up a lot. They have a lot of wonders. Good, good, good. Oh, so Babylon does have a lot of wonders. Oh, they've got 70... Th no, that's their happiness. 26 tourism... It, so I don't think we'll have to worry about ideology a pressure. Big that question much. will be Siam with their 56 tourism and where they go. Yeah. They might go yeah. freedom at this point. I because, think they will go freedom. And uh, that'll be interesting. They usually go freedom, so that's what I expect. At least from my experience, they usually go freedom. And I think sometimes AI goes for an, for an ideology that their enemies don't have. Oh, yeah? Just to keep up the tension? or That's I don't weird. know, but I, I noticed that sometimes, that they go for some weird choices at times. Hmm. And I'm thinking it might be based on who they like and who they dislike. It's weird. They don't want to go with what their enemies are going. Yeah, I've like. seen some really weird ideology choices from the AIs. And that was the only logical explanation that I've seen. Germany denounced France, which is interesting because they have the same ideology. Unless I read that wrong, but I don't think I did. Germany... Oh, no, Germany's order! Oh! Oh, I thought Germany went autocratic. So it's the Ottomans and France are autocratic. Yeah, Everyone yeah. Else? Oh, all right. Okay, no, that's, that's going to be really good. Yeah, we shall be more than fine. So I got my rifling now. Fertilizer is tempting. What's my happiness? Ooh, not really enough to grow unlimited. I might go electricity just to reveal aluminum. Uh, unless I want to go down to dynamite. I hear dynamite's pretty good. <laughs> At range yeah. three. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for dynamite myself right now because I think I'll need 
artillery mm-hmm. to break through here. At least that's how it looks like so far. That would I don't be... actually have enough gold to upgrade my musket men right now. If I get uh, artillery, I can actually shoot over mountains, right? As long as I've got vision on the other side. Yep. That could lead to some very fun situations, given the terrain here. Yeah, they do have indirect fire. I'm almost considering taking a city-state tire to the east of York. Not right, sure we were if talking you can about see that it. last time. Yeah yeah, 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 we were talking about that. It would actually make sense for me to take it. It's a pretty good city. It's a coastal city. I only have one coastal city right now. And I'm at war with it already. Because it's allied with drum control phase. So I'm considering it strongly. However, I can't really do that right now. I'm already struggling to push through here. Oh, am I going to get... Oh, I can get military science from Oxford, which brings me closer to Dynite. Actually, that works out relatively well. Or I can get steam power for free. But steam power, like, while it's nice to get an expensive tech for free, it doesn't really help. Oh, maybe I'll just pick up electricity. Well, the reason I pick steam power, usually, or the reason I steal it is because you need it to research flight. And flight is an important technology. It is very good. So, yeah. And flight doesn't require anything else, only steam power. So... You can just grab steam power and then research flight yourself. True, although flight sort of indirectly requires biology because you need oil. Yeah, that's true. Then again, you can always buy oil from someone, get it from city states mm, or something true. like that. That's true. That's very true. Hmm. And the problem with wards is that if AI gets fighters and bombers and you have no entire air defenses, you are kind of screwed. All right, that's true. Because AI loves spamming a lot of fighters and bombers most of the time. Now, when do city-states gain access to their oil or other resources? Because there have been cases where I have the tech, and I can see it in the uh, um, the city-state territory, but they can't they can't grant it to me because they don't have the tech level. I'm actually not 100% sure what the city-state tech is based on, but I had many situations where city-states had the tech for it, but I didn't. Right. Well, especially probably playing on something like Deity. France... I'm not 100% sure about how it works. France wants me to go to war with them against Babylon, but no, because I have friendship agreements and a research agreement with Babylon, so that would be bad. Well, I just got biology myself, and I have no oil. <laughs> Can you see but if I've got any? Some. Does it reveal it? Oh, you, don't, you can't really see my territory. Nope. Well, hold on, I can see some of it. Or all of it. Do you have more than four cities? No, you don't. No, just, or do you? just four cities. Okay, I don't see any oil inside your territory, but I, I can't see to the east of Damascus. But I can't see any oil near Baghdad, Mecca, or Medina. Well, I guess steam power is the most expensive tech I can get for free here. You do have aluminum. Oh, that's good. Well... And quite a lot of it, actually. There's one deposit with eight aluminium just outside of your border, to the south of Mecca. Just south. Oh, okay. So we'll probably... two tiles northwest of the Barringer crater. But oh, yeah, on I that, can't on see any oil on that hill there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can I buy that tile? Probably not, because it's more than three away. Uh, no. Hold on. Can... Yeah, there, there is one oil. Uh, two tiles southwest of Sipar. So that's. Four tiles away from Medina, you can't buy that directly. Mm, but yeah. it's no one's territory right now. So if I discover it, then it'll encourage the uh, auto tile buyer to grab it. But I'm quite the far auto away tile from buyer it. is just really strange sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think it's based on base terrain, but I'm not 100% sure about that. It prefers flat terrain, but also terrain with resources. Like it'll avoid mountains, hills, forests if possible. There's some oil like southeast of Istanbul. Okay. Do you see antiquity sites? No, you don't. No. Uh, there's... That, I, 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 yeah, I think that's the location with Edirne. So there's oil to the southwest of Edirne. And that'll be a great place to grab. I can see two wheat tiles. Is that Edirne? Uh, two wheat tiles? Two wheat tiles. Yes. So, yeah, that's southwest of Edirne, that's seven oil deposit. Oh, all right. Well, 
If all goes well, I will be able to take Edern. We'll, we'll see if that actually happens or not. And I'll probably have to take Tyre now, because there's oil right next to it. And I see, oh, now I see one source of oil. Yeah, just outside of my border and four tiles away from my city. So I have to rely on tile auto-purchase, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Golden Age end. There's some oil near the city that I'm trying to take right now. So I should hurry up with that. I killed so many Yonis. Oh. Geneva wants me to denounce the Ottomans. I will probably end up doing that, actually. Just not quite yet. Need to take care of that soon. Need care of what? Need to take care of my economy because I'm losing 12 gold per 10 right now. Ooh. That's not, not fantastic. Uh, maybe the chat dropped And out. I can't sell anything. Okay, I do have one extra silk, but that doesn't really fix it. I can maybe sell some iron. Venice doesn't want to buy my luxuries for full price anymore. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, Venice got cranky. I don't think anyone is going to give me full price anymore. Doesn't look like it. They don't like my warmongering, apparently. Yep, only 6 gold per 10. Mm. Napoleon will give me 7 gold per turn for some iron. That's nice. This is like a trade for coal as well. That would give me one city quest, but I don't know if that's worthwhile doing right now. There we go. Only losing 1 gold per turn now, but I need a lot of money to upgrade all of my musket men. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to Get that. What's the next tech? There's a tech that will increase our trade range, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, combustion. But that's with land trade routes. Oh. And for sea trade routes, that's refrigeration. refrigeration. Okay. Yeah, because it'll be really nice when we can start running trade routes more frequently yeah. to each other. And they should be relatively safe. But we don't have a lot of possible trade routes. I only have one coastal city. And you also only have one coastal city. Well, I have two. I have one in the north and one in the south. Which are both connected technically to the same sea, so... No, I've got two. But that's still only two trade routes, yeah. because I only have one coastal city right now, unless I actually manage to take some of these. The troll city is coastal, so maybe if I can take that, that would help. But this war is going to take a while from the looks of it. I'm really struggling to push through here. I might have to wait for artillery at this rate. Not only for plus one range, but also for indirect fire. Yeah, well, your landscape, it really sounds like it's a hell. Yeah. And I can't really focus on ships of the line because I need to get cargo ships. So that kind of sucks too. <laughs> I was going to get ships of the line to help with this, but I'm only using two out of four shade routes. Some of them got pillaged. So I need to fix that if I want to fix my economy. That's the downside of only having three cities and only one coastal city. Your ability to build you can, ships, yeah. yeah. You can only build so many things at once in your only coastal city. Oh, 
Oh, a friendly trader that was plundered. The perils of war. Losing your trade routes. Even when you're not involved. Oh, the yeah, wow. that's the ones someone is sending to you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine foreign trade routes are coming to me. Nice. Each one of them are bringing three science. Yeah, I'm only getting one. So that's the problem with me being slightly isolated. The only people who can send the trade routes to me are Venice and Ram Control Phase. I'm at war with the later. And the former is only sending one trade route to me right now. So, And I'm getting zero science from that because he's way behind me, actually. So the Ottomans want me to go to war with them against the Germans. Now, I'm pretty sure the Germans are still like, there's no way for us to reach each other. Yeah. If I do this, there's nothing that'll stop me from declaring war on the Ottomans, right? I've been playing too much EU4 where <laughs> this would be a problem, uh, but... Can you go through that scenario again? <laughs> so me and the Ottomans versus the Germans, which yeah. should be totally safe for me. My question is, I can still declare war against the Ottomans, right? Even, yeah, you can. Like, it's not going to be a mark on our record. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. I actually tend to do that quite a lot, get the AIs to fight each other mm -hmm. before I declare war on one of them. In, and it doesn't matter which way you do it. All right, well, there we go. Let's declare war that way. Because I'm still I'm just waiting for my rifles to finish. I'm going to have one in two turns, one in four turns, one in six. I might go when I have two, actually, if things are looking okay. I should send my um, my camel archers inside of his territory to take a peek. We have open borders, so I don't think he can whine about like my troops being nearby. I don't know. Open borders and a mutual war, and then have to pass through his territory to get to the enemy? He yeah, might still I trigger. Think... I think they complain less often if you have open borders, but I'm not actually sure anymore. Mm, I hope so. Although, if he asks me if I'm, like, looking for war, well, I might actually, actually have no, to say no, yes. That's the creation of friendship. If you have the creation of friendship, they won't complain at all. But with open borders, they can still do it. No, yeah, we don't, we don't have declaration of friendship, because it would be bad. Anyway, we're at 27 minutes, so let's all make right. a cut. Sounds good. Thanks, everyone, so, thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, folks. Bye. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Did you know I read every single comment someone leaves on my video? That's insane. Why would I do that? I don't know, but I'll read yours.